Okay, next up I'm going to show you how to integrate your payment settings so you can start accepting credit cards and payments from users so they can become subscribers to your site. So what we're going to use is the Stripe system. If you go to stripe.com then you will be at a page similar to this and you can go ahead and click on the sign up button and then register for an account just by entering your email address and your password. Uh, but I already created an account so I'm just going to log in with that. And right as soon as you log in, then you'll be here at your dashboard where you'll be able to check all of your sales for the day, all of your total sales, your total customers, uh, and so much more about your Stripe account and your subscription site. So I'm going to go ahead and click on your account up here on the top right and click on account settings. And then what I want to do is go to my API keys. And this, these are going to be the keys that we enter into our website. So once you go to the gear icon and you click on payment settings, you'll be at this page here where it's asking for your Stripe payment API keys. So what we're going to do is just uh, copy and paste these over accordingly. We have our test keys and then we also have our live keys. And the difference between these are once you're ready to take live sales, you will turn your app into live mode and then you'll, you're able to accept payments. Uh, when you want to just test your system out, test the application out, you'll be in test mode. So you can simply turn on live mode or turn off live mode by clicking this toggle switch. And once you do that, you'll also want to make sure that once you've activated your account, then you are in live mode for Stripe as well. And in order to activate your account with Stripe, you simply have to enter in your bank information and it will confirm your bank and then it will directly transfer the money from the Stripe dashboard over to your bank account, which makes it great because the money automatically goes from this account into your bank account and like that you're already earning money from your subscribers. So the next thing that we will want to do is we want to create a plan. So basically a recurring monthly plan. So if we want this to be $9 a month, $19 a month, however much we want that to be. The ID specifically needs to be monthly. So this is already built into the application. It's basically a monthly plan that people will be paying for to be a subscriber to your site. So then we can select the amount. Uh, let's say we want to do $9. I'm going to make this the interval monthly instead of daily or yearly. I'm just going to select the monthly and trial period. We can just leave these two blank and create plan. So now we have our new plan set up and then we will also want to probably go into our theme settings and since we changed it to $9 a month we'll probably want to update the copy to let the users know that <clears throat> it'll be $9 a month. So become a member for $9 a month. Um, you know, and then you can change the sign up message on above the sign up form to say $9 a month. You actually don't even have to say how much directly on here, but it'd probably be nice for the user to know how much they're going to pay every single month. Um, and these are inside the theme settings, which we just went over in the previous video. So I'm going to update the theme settings. And then I'm going to log out and I'm going to pretend like I'm a user just coming to the site. And then I want to sign up for a subscription. Okay, so if I come to this website and I like all the content and I want to become a member, I can click on become a member or click on the sign up button up here and I will want to enter in my username. So just call this Mike Jones123 and then enter in our password. And the credit card, since we're in demo mode right now, we can just use the the demo credit card down here and we're also in test mode so once you're ready to go into live mode you'll turn off demo mode in your site settings and then you'll also turn on live mode for your payment settings but right now we're still in test mode so we can test everything out and confirm that everything is working so the expiration and the CVC and then we'll click on sign up today okay and then we should get a message that says welcome your account has now been created so uh, Mike Jones can then go to his profile and he can go to edit and then below his edit settings he can say manage his billing info and you'll see here that it has his invoice now that he paid nine dollars a month for uh, he can then update his credit card info here or cancel his account and if he cancels his account he will actually still be on his grace period so if he says he wants to cancel his account then he will still have access to the system until a month from now 
uh, but then you can also click here to reactivate his account and then he will be billed again the next month to continue being a member. And if I go back in here to my Stripe account and I go to the dashboard, you'll see now that we have one new customer. So we can click on that customer and sure enough, that's MikeJones123 at gmail.com. So just like that, you can see how simple it is to integrate Stripe into our application and then we're able to take payments or right now in this case, test payments. Uh, but as soon as you activate your account and turn on the live mode, then you'll be able to accept live payments from new users who want to subscribe to your site.